Another adventure. You can tell it's a little early and there's some rain, but I'm taking off heading over to Ocean City for some tog fishing. Gotta pick up my buddy Morgan along the way. Head on over for a little day trip for some togging. You never know right now if they're biting, you never know what's going on, but honestly just trying to find a way to stay sane fishing. I mean, that's, that's, that's the way it is. You know, you guys know, you get the itch, you gotta get out, you gotta do your thing, and that's what we're gonna do today. So, all right, all right, we are here to pick Morgan up. We're meeting at Anglers Hunting and Fishing. This is right before the Route 50 Bridge, and there's my man just hanging out. All right, let's go get his stuff in the truck, and let's get going. So it'll be nice when things get back to normal. Yeah, we're out moving around. We're being careful with what we do washing our hands after every time we fill up the gas station i'm using gloves every time i fill up but we're still moving but you can see temporarily closed and that's fine because this is not essential i know recreation is considered essential but again we'll go they have the covid virus going on if you guys are watching this years from now or whatever uh we got a pandemic epidemic whatever you want to call it and uh yeah we're just limiting movements and doing things like that that we just try and stay safe not spreading this virus to other people so a lot of these stores everything's closed even wendy's mcdonald's it's all pickup drive through only so if you're watching this in the future yeah stuff happens man government has shut everybody down shut them down our freedoms will not be taken though we will get out and fish we'll be careful we might uh we might head out on the jetty to see what it's like out there real quick all right, then we'll swing back around. We're gonna uh, head it. We're gonna head inland. Yeah, this is my buddy John. John How you doing? Uh, Harry and Kristen. Happy to see your video. Yeah. yeah, love it. Appreciate it. You guys got anything yet? All right, guys, we just pulled up, and of course you saw Sam coming across the bay. We're going to be all fishing today, hanging out, just doing what we do. So, Sam, there he is, right back at it. We love hanging out with people who are as avid fishermen as us. And, man, he will he will be here pretty much any time. That's right. Let's get after it, y'all. I had a bite. Stole my shrimp. The thing is, you got to remember, those shrimp is they're not as solid on the hook as the fleas are at crab. Nothing to hold on to, it's just meat and you'll pick that thing right off if you let them take it. So guys, this is that Johnny Morris Carbon Light 2 combo. I got four tog fishing, really. It is a little more, it's a heavier backbone and I want to see how it'll work. I can't wait to catch fish on it. I probably won't get a bite all day. Virtually last time I was here. Nothing. You? Look at that. That stingray. Ah, uh, so fucking scared. Got one. Fish? Nice. Got one. I haven't had one of these tog in a while, so. So, y'all. It's short, but. First one, baby. First one. <laughs> All right, guys. There's your target talk. That was on a um, Sam Flea. Sam Flea. Right. First one, guys. Let's see how big he is. All right, 15 and three quarter, y'all. First talk of the day, right there, guys. All right, you get on back down to your home here, bud. You get on back down. <laughs> First one. There we go. Sweet. All right, so that's good. We needed to break the ice. He's out, he's out, Got he's out, him. he's out. Got him. Go, is it on? Yep. Nice. So you guys can see that tap right there, right? It's a small one, but. 
Oh my gosh, the smallest popped a bow clip. What's that? Dark one. He's been hanging out in the caves. Yeah, he, was in, he was in there. Okay, so that's a shrimp. And that's a sand filet. He is ooh, he wasn't giving that up either. He's like, I want that. Okay. Oh, I'm gonna, you know what? I'm gonna give it to you, buddy. No, I'm not. Yeah, you almost got that already. Here, so both those guys have been down in holes and I've hit the rocks. Had to go in and find them. You guys know that's how I love to fish them anyways, but when they're finicky, I think you really just have to go down and get them and pop that rod a couple times too, which got him out the hole. I was just like, and then when I saw your rod and popped yeah. it and your rod gave, I was like, he's, he's out. <laughs> you guys tell how dark that fish was? That he, He's a cave dweller. That dude has been little hanging out, whether something's chasing him around or what. He's still a little, I mean, he's that's a pretty small fish. He's hanging out in there, whether he's getting picked on or something, but he's right. been in that cave and he's dark. But usually, if it drops in that hole and you don't get hit in that first 10 seconds, there's nothing there. Keep moving. Because this is why I love tog fishing. It's like a game with the rocks. First of all, you gotta play it with the rocks, then you play it with the fish. All right, I got it right here. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Big fish. This is a big one. Nice. Ready? Oh, yeah. Oh, that's a keeper. I doubt about that one. Yeah, that's nice. Best one of the day, right there. Gotta be 17. 17 and a half, close to 18. Nice. 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 Oh, yeah. There we go. That's a nice one. Tell me I'm on. There we go. Oh, he's, yeah. he's peeling drag. This is a big fish. No, nah, maybe not. Ooh, he's nice. Ah, keeper. For sure. That's a nice one, baby. Nice one, bro. Got him. He was, he was just chomping on it, man. Thought he stole my bait. Not a big one, but I'll take, oh, <laughs> okay, bigger than I thought. I mean, he literally was just chomping on it. I thought he stole my bait. Nice one, gold spots. Beauty, a little male. Nice. I'll let him go, beautiful. There you go, guys. The Tatog. Oh, there's a bite. Oh, got him. Get out of that shit. He got him. Oh, he's wrapped. He's wrapped. Oh. No, he's pulling. You got him, right? Oh. Yeah. <laughs> oh, I got him out. Oh, my God. This is a nice fish. Nice fish. Oh, get out of there. Whatever you're stuck in. He's got him on a little bait caster, and he thinks the dank is a huge one. See, welcome to my to welcome to my world. That's a nice one, dude. <laughs> That's gonna be so close. Yeah, he's gonna be close. He's got the oh, here, I can throw him up here real quick. Old flakes on him. Nice. On the, on the bottom sweeper. Actually, this one was those generic ones I got from Oops Pian from Florida. Similar to a bottom sweeper jig, but just a standard bottom jig that one's got some gold on it check it out this is a pretty i love the gold on him man yeah, he's not gonna make it another 15 and a half look at that 15 and a half huh gotta be 16 down here guys that's the deal uh, morgan's got a fish in the boat though there we go pull back the bottom rig man she pisses me off oh yep doink 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 Got him. Got him. I saw that one coming, boy. Oh, yeah, yeah, boy. Uh, dude, look at that rods. This is why light tackle's fun, y'all. This is a 14-inch fish. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. I think he's a, he's a keeper. Look at that. That's a nice fish. 15 and 5 eighths. Yep. Just short. We keep getting these. And that's the size in here, guys. That's what you're fishing for, though. I mean, that's why it's so fun. 
if you're lucky to get a keeper, it's great. But I mean, this is basically the size of the fish that we have in here. Just keep. What you think, huh? Flip them over. Flip them over belly side. Yeah, there you go. Yeah, man, sixteen and a quarter for sure. That's on video. I got it. He can shrink all he wants. Bite. Turn into the Morgan Shell. He got him. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. He's a big fish. Oh, he's got his heavier gear out. That's yeah, mildly heavier. Oh, yeah. Big black one. Nice. Nice. Sweet. That fish basically picked up my jig and swum with it. I felt swum, uh, swum, swam. <laughs> <laughs> I, I'm I not sure if I have Morgan or my kids on the boat. <laughs> Between Morgan, my winter, and my kids, I have no idea. Yeah, he swam. He swam. <laughs> he was swimming with it, and uh, yeah, because I just felt my my jig get picked up and moved away. Let him go. Noise. Here we go. So hit, hit, got him. Nobody's on camera. Oh yeah, there he is. He's on camera. Sweet. Oh, a big one. Get in the boat. It's a nice one. Nice, nice. Circle hook. Circle hook with the scrimp. Get the fuck off. Me too. In the bucket. Sweet. Alright, we're gonna switch back up, go to the bottom sweeper. I've not caught a fish on this yet. It'll just kind of bounce like that because that first tap, tap, tap is in its, it, this jig head's in its mouth. There you go. Nice. Oh. Yeah, Ooh. buddy. Nice. I'm gonna miss the fish because I'm being. <laughs> Put the guns away. Fish, man. Yeah, these are nice fish. That's the way you gotta set that hook on the top, huh? I almost grabbed him by his mouth. <laughs> oh, stick your finger there. They don't bite you. Or they can't bite you. <clears throat> you settle down, little fella. Back in, I mean, but... He's 16, but... He's close enough that... Let him live another day. For the bigger ones. He was 16, we're gonna let him go, y'all, because it was so close, and you know what? We're gonna catch them all, like Morgan said. There it is. <laughs> That's probably literally the same thing. Call <laughs> oh, another little blackie. Zoom! <laughs> Top lip, bro, look at that. Dude, that's two hookups on threading that through like that up onto the jig head. I'll use an entire shrimp and then just thread it all yeah. the way through. All right, guys, so the fish are biting pretty good. We've moved to the back of the boat here, and up on the hill they're mowing and weed whacking, so it's almost impossible to hear. But right now we've gotten into a school of about six or seven tog, and they're all hanging out in here, and you'll see I'm going to catch about three. Morgan's going to catch about three, and if you can hit those pockets of them, this is about 18 foot of water, you can really have some fun. I'm gonna try a half though. We'll try just, to skip those, bro. just for just for sake of saving bait. If I can still thread it up there, right? Let's see. I mean, top. Second that sun peaked out, dude, it dropped down there and he hit that. It didn't take two seconds. Back to back, baby. This might be the same small dude, little, a little piglet. I found a family of them sitting right down there. That would be like Brooks. Do it, dude. Just get over there. Drop it. Just drop down there. He's a chunky. He 
<laughs> back to back, baby. I have a 15 incher, guys. Love it, 15. You're so pretty. You're so pretty. Get on out of here. Go tell your family to eat our bait. Got him. There we go. Nice. Another blackie. Got it? Nice. Darkness. Get on out of here, son. Yeah, I was excited that B got it. I He's there got it. Go. Phone. Oh, he's dick. He's gonna oh, he's going to get me wrapped in the... Oh, I got him. Nah. He's just a wee mite. Oh, sh... <laughs> what did I tell you? <laughs> That's a keeper, man. Oh shit! <laughs> Where'd you come from? I got more beeps in this stupid Fucking episode than. Can <laughs> 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 do one more. Do like a clip. Boot lip. Nice. Been eating that one. Or just got a fish out. Got it. Oh, it's the first stripey of the day. A striped dude. Fucking pooping. Spit. Yeah, I just I set that one in the rod holder and just let it sit there and then it just bent right over. Love it. Oh, I love it. See you, little dude. Thanks, sir. Little oh, dad. I oh, know. But it's smoking with, yeah. Up oh, here we go. Punch that rod up top. Nice. They're not big ones right now, but oh, not a bad one. But dark. These guys are dark. This is what I mean. They're under the rocks, and they haven't come out for all season. Fourteen and a half. -er. Thanks for letting me catch ya. All green, like, there you go. You all son green, of a. All green interior. Nice. Float flip. You ate a sand flea. You ate a sand flea. You made me so happy. You made me so happy, my little friend. Look at me. Look at me when I'm talking to you. You know what I'm saying? I hear you. You the man. Dude, right when it hit. Here we go, y'all. Oh, he's on there. Oh, he's a tech. Oh, shit. he digging. Yep. 
Chill. Chomper. No keep. Yes, I've been looking for you, son. Do we have enough meat? That's kind of like the point I'm at right now. Seventeen. There we go. He's digging, dude. That dude's digging. Little guy against against the current. Yeah, little guy. Little stew of the day. See you, dude. On the last shrimp. Got him, and he made it count. He made it count. Be a keeper. Still got a couple pieces left. But I got oh, got him on the circle of good. So look, I got two full shrimp on those rods right there. So grab, grab one off. Oh, okay. The other ones. We got two shrimp left. Just got him. Noise. Crikey. Those are those stroke car hooks. See you, buddy. Thanks, sir. Shoosh. Yep, an end to another amazing day. Check out that sunset. Wow. So cool. What an awesome day, man. We absolutely tore the fish up. We're gonna cut these fish up here and fillet them up, have them ready to go so we're done. All right, so we're gonna be filleting these fish. We gotta get them filleted up. Uh, we just pulled them out of the cooler. They're as fresh as fresh can be. They're actually still alive. I'm not a big fan of filleting them alive, but at the same time, sometimes that works out best. And in this situation, it does. So we're just gonna fillet these guys up with the sunset in the background on our table and be done with them. See you guys in the kitchen.